Hello everybody, this is MD StarCraft. The MD does not mean I have a degree in gaming, however awesome that would be. Dan's from Maryland, that's the state where I live. And today I have for you the third game in the StarCraft 2 series between Nama playing as Terran and Lalish playing as Zerg. Do you know for this game they have changed colors? Ooh, that was important. Uh, this game is going to be on Scrap Station. Series tied 1-1. First game was on Lost Temple. Lalish won in an epic battle at the end uh, with Ultralis and all kinds of stuff. And then the, ne the last game was on Steps of War. And uh, Nama pushed with this really uh, weird fast Hellion into Baractor Port, into expansion kind of build that he tried the first game. Uh, did it to some kind of effect. But uh, this map definitely is Zerg favorite. I think the loser's picking the map here because both players have picked maps that they. I, th I think feel favorite towards their races. I think Steps of War is favorite to Terran, and this map favorite to Zerg, because Zerg can take their expansion really easily. Uh, there are all kinds of hidden expansions around here that the Terran player needs to be really mobile to get to. Um, do note that the Terran, however, can secure his natural pretty easily too, though with, I think, a bunker and a supply deal made two bunkers. They can put siege tanks on the high ground here, and over near this expansion. So, while this is a Zerg favorite map, Terran definitely don't get, like, nothing. It looks like Nama going to do his interesting fast factory build again. Might, might be more effective on this map because the Zergling's going to take such a long time to get there. He's electing not to lawn because those fast Hellions will negate any early Zergling play. And Laosh going for fast speedlings, uh, getting a gas at 13, pool at 12s, something like that maybe. So he is going to get the fast speedlings because I think he realizes Nama is continuing to go Hellions. Like I said, I think these might. I said in my last video, these guys might be testing out new builds against each other. Uh, I feel like Nama might be testing this build out against Lalish. Lalish has done four different openings. Uh, one was a fast expand, one was a pool, then expand. This one's going to be fast speedlings. Uh, so maybe we're going to see different builds on different maps. Anywho, note the factory is going to come down right as this Rax finishes. Look at that great timing there with the money. Uh, Nama's really got this fast factory build going pretty well now. I don't know, maybe he just does that standard, maybe he's doing it special. If you know if this game was like part of a tournament, or if they were just doing like testing builds or something like that, uh, please post in the comments below to make me feel like a total idiot. Uh, we do have the fast speed going down along with a bunch of Zerglings coming out and a Queen. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how these Hellions do against the Zerglings. Do you know the next 50 gas is probably going to be used for a reactor right here. Yeah, he's going to wall in with that. As there are a few Zerglings out on the map, do come and attack him and destroy his face. Uh, these overloads position very well too. Take note of that. He can sack these in at any moment. Lalish can to oh, excuse me, to gain valuable scouting information. This one marine, he's gonna hold the gate. He's so cool. Uh, he's awesome. Any first zerglings are coming out. This SCV barely escapes with his life. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this zergling, not of this zergling, has anything to say about it. Uh, where is the SCV gonna go? Probably nowhere fast. Zergling trying to catch up with him. SCV is going to stop at the watchtower. Where'd the Zergling go? <gasps> the Zergling gave up his pursuit. Mr. SCV, no, I wouldn't go over there. Um, I thought you were smart and we're going to survive, but anywho. Yes, we do have the Hellions in Baractor Port. Where'd the Marine go? Where'd that Marine go? Did he die? Oh no, here he is. He's finally going to ward these Zerglings. We have there are a bunch more Zerglings here. And this SCV is going to come to his doom as he's probably moving right into these Zerglings. Oh, do note the Zerglings are going to be able to run in while the wall is down. However, the first Hellion I will be able to fry most of those Zerglings. Uh, don't obstruct the view, Mr. Factory. These Zerglings are going to stand here, though, and prevent the Factory from landing, and speed is done, so the Zerglings can catch up with the Hellions now if the Hellion wasn't completely frying them. Uh, SCV is going to come in and be kind of like meat shields. This Hellion has only 5 HP left. Zer this Zergling is stopping the Factory from landing. Factory doing a little spaz-tastic job in the air, though, and we do have the expansion almost done for Lalish, uh, as he is expanding again, and getting the Roaches again, which is kind of effective against Hellions on this map. However, the Hellions do still have a lot of room to dance around. We have a bunker going down uh, for Nama, maybe expecting a bust on this building because it is already kind of hurt. So we're going to put a bunker behind it, stuff some marines in there. And we do also have the banshees going out too. It looks like because of the delayed um, factory, he might be hitting with these uh, hellions and the banshees at the same time. Do you know this overlord just kind of sitting around here, completely getting all the information. Lawish going to sack these overlords in maybe? I don't know, where'd that marine go? I cannot find you, marine. I think he died. So actually, this overlord... Excuse me, has no apparent danger at this point. Huh. Anywho, uh, what's going on at the Zerg camp in Lalish's base? Nothing much, throwing down double Evo chambers. Uh, maybe you're going to go with that same uh, heavy Roche style of play that we've seen him do in the last game that wasn't that effective because Namla got some Banshees and Roaches can't shoot Banshees. Uh, for those of you who don't know StarCraft, Roaches can only shoot ground. 
First Banshee she's gonna move over, and the Hellions are moving out, so it looks like we are gonna see a uh, dual attack pincer, but this Spore Crawler, good timing going down. Is this Banshee gonna be able to take it out? Banshee gets one drone kill, two, two drone kills, and then gonna fly out of there. So the Banshee getting two drone kills, it's nothing to sneeze at, but I mean, not as effective as you would like it. Lots more Spore Crawlers going down now, though, so I think the Banshee's made up for its weight and how many Spore Crawlers there need to go down. Anywho, four Hellions out now, though, there aren't any Roaches done yet, even though the Roach one is completed, and Lalash is very drone-starved at his main. He's, he's transfers almost all of his drones to his natural enemy. These Hellions are going to come in there, realizing that, the, realizing that there are no Roaches, these Hellions are just going to pick off the Queens, uh, maybe going to do some Zergling kill, one Queen goes down, the rest of the Speedlings going to go down to these five Hellions and one Banshee. This Queen going to go two down to, uh, almost kill the Banshee, Banshee only at 23 HP, Almost going down to the Queen Hive. First Roach is out. Maybe gonna turn those Hellions away. Uh, and we do have a Spire going down, so Lalish switching up his play this time. After getting double Evo Chambers, he's gonna decide to get a Spire instead. Very interesting here, as we do have the um, Banshee Viking Raven approach coming from Nama. And it looks like he's also gonna go Bio Balls. So, s very similar play from Nama in all these games. Lalish doing very different stuff. This Overlord just kinda chilling. Oh, hey, what's up, Hellions and Banshee? Uh, see ya. Where was that Viking, I wonder? I'd like to see him come in and punch that Overlord in the face. Uh, but no, no Viking out now. Do note Nama has secured his expansion too, though. Uh, Lalish hasn't been securing a third base as early as he should have, especially uh, with how fast uh, Nama has been expanding. The Spire is almost done, though. And it looks like he is saving up gas, so we're probably going to see four Mutalists come out right away. Do some pretty nice harass, as there are only Marines up that can shoot air, and this Raven does not have enough to point a defense run or PDD, which does count against Mutalists. Uh, very effective against them, and Hydralists. Ravens are very underrated against Zerg. Uh, I think out of all the matchups, they're best against, I want to say they're best against Zerg, but eh, they're kind of good against Terran too. Anyway, we do have Stim going down, Marauders, Marines, and Mr. Turt's coming out, so I'm going to guess that Nama wasn't hacking and that he actually scanned the uh, Zerg base and found that there was a Spire there. Anyway, these Hellions going to come in, not going to be that effective. Let's see, what about uh, Nama? Did he scan the base? Uh, he didn't scan the base, but I guess he just figures that they're going to be uh, Mutalist coming out, so he did put down some Mr. Turts. One at each at his main and his natural. Another going down the main. So the Mutalist will not be able to do that much. <coughs> they are flying over now, going to try to snipe some stuff. Do know there are also there are also a bunch of Marines down. Are these Mutalists going to be able to take off Hellion? Doesn't look like it. Anywho, this Mr. Turt back here isn't in range at this point. These Mutalists will be able to snipe these extractors and this command center because this Mr. Turt is placed behind the mineral field. However, the Marines should come out and should be able to deal with these Mutalists soon. <clears throat> so Mutalist not the most effective uh, for this against this Terran build of Marines and Missile Turrets. I do know we have the high sec auto tracking. The upgrade that's almost never done <coughs> is going down for the Terran player to give his um buildings more range. Where's the NG Bay? <clears throat> I need to see this thing for myself. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. High sec auto tracking. Yay! Do you know we do have a kind of big Zerg army outside? It's a uh, Roach Mutalist. Very interesting uh, composition here. <coughs> However, I do feel like it's going to be kind of good against this Marine, Hellion, uh, Banshee mix. I mean, until there are substantial Marines and Marauders to deal with the Roaches and Mutalists, it's not going to be that effective. Lalish continuing to just go off two bases. Very gas-heavy. Let's see him get some Infestors, all that gas, or tech up into Hive, because Hive tech is very gas-heavy to get to, and he is getting the Infestation bit. Good call there. He's also getting Zerg Ground 1 and Zerg uh, Air Attacks 1, Zerg Ground Armor 1, should clarify that. And for um, Nama, we have Combat... Combat shields, Terran infantry level one, a Raven, and all kinds of stuff going down. Do know both players still off two base? No one's going to secure another base. Uh, one Mutalist goes down to this Missile Two so cool. He has one kill, and he does have the auto tracking down, so he now has an eight.